last two wicket early. Nathan Bracken did the business in Durban and he started by getting Dippin' out today. A bit of fortune to go with it there. Inside edge. Dippin' are looking to get it down to third man. It's a fairly foolish delivery. He'll count himself very unlucky on this sort of pitch to get out in that fashion. Fortunately, you know, the hero out of the Durban innings, he has to leave. But I dip and I've gone for one. So I think now, three for one. Herschel Gibbs has arrived, taking guard. Nathan Bracken has struck in his first over. Gibbs, very experienced these days, 185 games. Average a little bit lower than what it should be for someone of his ability. But he has got 1500s. That's an important stat to remember. Graham Smith. If they get off, there might be a chance. That's good. That's four. Beautiful shot from Gibbs. Inside edge. Not far away from the stumps. And he'll take that. Down the track and just over the top of Michael Clark, and that's four. Well, it wasn't going to take too much longer. Herschel Gibbs. 13 from 14 right now. And that strike rate's going to have to be somewhere up 100. He's got to keep it going right up there. It's a good shot from Herschel Gibbs. He's got that away beautifully, nice and flat for six. So there's a six off the first ball of the over. Bradley is bowling some pretty tidy pace, 145.5 k's per hour, and Gibbs is looking to play some strokes. Nice position for that. And into the stand on the short boundary. Right, so uh, 47 for one. Gibbs on 24 of 25. Smith gets it away, that'll go to the boundary for four as well. That's well played. Right, now we need the South African captain to come to the party. He's got 20 of 12, so he's going pretty well. They just need to keep these boundaries coming. Oh, that's... Uh, Magnificent shot. It's gone through the fingers there of the shot of the close fieldsman. It was hit so well it's gone to the boundary for four. 57 for one. That's what played. That's beautifully played. Steered to the boundary for four. Well played. That's the area he loves. Don't pitch it up. Without a deep mid wicket. Smith's uh, going well because he'll dispatch it in that area. He's got it away, that's four. Take that. Short delivery. And it got the treatment it deserved. Well, well played. That's four. Left handers. Love you to pitch it outside that leg stump without a fine leg. And only allowed one back on that side, and one back on each side. They've uh, got a third man, and their man on the leg side is dead square. No, well, we'll keep an eye on what the uh, comparison was after 10 overs, after 50 and after 20. South Africa ahead at the moment. Oh, good shot. He's hit that one over the top. Bouncing away down to the boundary. Well, he knew exactly what was needed this over. It's uh, spoiled it a bit for Lewis. 89 for one. Straight down the ground, and it's beaten him. It's four. Well, there's the boundary for this over. That's seven off the over. 25 runs ahead at this stage, South Africa. Plus 46 deliveries. Brilliant. Muscled to bring up 50. Well played, Graham Smith. That's a fine reply. 
and a deserving applause from his home crowd. The played for runs. Very good placement. To full toss. He's edged it and he's got himself another boundary. Goodness me, this is quite remarkable. Four runs, beautifully played. That is a very good shot indeed. That's what they need to do. It's a situation where a few balls are bowled, the pressure builds up, they need a boundary, they look for it and they get it. Well played, 145 for one. It's a good shot. One bounce four, opened the blade perfectly, Herschel Gibbs. He didn't move, he knew that was going. That's a fine stroke. He's hit that beautifully and that's gone. A long way back for half a dozen. Not five rows, not ten, not twenty. More than that. Almost right out the ground. Way, way back. Simons bowled the slower ball. Smith waited for it. And bang. There he goes again, and he's too big a man not to get it out of the park. Graham Smith is going to play an innings which will be equal to Ricky Ponting's. 85 or 50 deliveries. Here we go. I think it's fastened your seatbelts, Tom. Yes, it sure is. It's such a great pitch. You can hit through it with all confidence. And up beyond the high felt. Ball travels a long way. And after shots like that, there certainly will be another one out the park. I don't know what the record number of sixes is in a one-day game, but this will be pretty close. 190 for one. Out. Now, is that the turning point? Look at the delight on Michael Clark's face, and more importantly, Michael Hussey's he really thinks that might be a big wicket and it certainly might be just not getting onto it, Graham Smith. And he's gone. Unlucky. I think this was what that debate was about. Clark going around the wicket, asking Smith to come and fetch it out to the stump. Smith favours the leg side. This time, though, not quite getting all of it. Dragging it straight to that man. Well, the captain hasn't stood back. Not the greatest day in the field. But superb with the bat. So there we go, 190 for two. In the air and out the park. And what a response after a wicket. And they crossed, so uh, Gibbs facing, he goes to 90. Looking at the toe of his bat, that's how good the bats are today. Michael Clark, Rice Mile. I'll keep talking about those sixes, Barry Richards. That's 19 now. There he goes. The power play got him up. I'm going to go over the top. Enough of this, he says. Well, Ursula Gibbs isn't going to change his game. Maybe near a milestone. I have to agree with him. I think this is the way to go. If the opportunity presents itself, you can't let that stand in the way of what the team needs. Brilliant shot, it's, it's on. And he's done it so well today already. 97 now to Gibbs. Going to celebrate with him. A superb innings. When it's needed most by his side, he's come to the party. Look at that, 79 balls, a brilliant strike rate. And isn't it good to see Ursula Gibbs in form? There he goes again. More runs. Stand and deliver. That's a home run over third base. Brilliant strike from Usha Gibbs. That's not all that short off the front foot. He's on out that area. Like that. More runs. Gilchrist has got to stand up to the stumps. He will not do it and his bowlers have paid the penalty. He's got to get up because they're using the, their feet to get out there. They're creating a different length. They've got to pull them back. Look where Herschel Gibbs is. He's right out of his crease. Don't know what they're doing. They're not thinking clearly, the Aussies. 
And you can understand why there's pressure from the South African batsman. The crowd's not happy. Once again, Ponting having a chat to Lewis. There he goes again. He's selected his area and that's on the offside. As much as Ricky Ponting puts it through mid-wicket, so Herschel Gibbs puts it through cover. There we go again. That's the arrow he said he was going for. You can't protect it up in the ring because he just goes up and over. You've got to make sure that it's in the block hole, otherwise you pay big time. And that's down to third man. That's four more. What an over this has been. 242 for two. In the air, and he, oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. Oh, could he have dropped the trophy? Is it the case of this time it's the other way around? Could Bracken have dropped the cup, so to speak? Listen to the cheers in the background. Well, full toss must hit straight to him as easy as you can get in these kind of games. If you were Gibbs, you'd have to walk down and say it to him, wouldn't you? You better believe it. <laughs> you'd have to have gone down there and said it to him. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Straight down the ground. And that seriously relieves the pressure. 2.53 for two. Right, well, uh, there it is. Callus Kemp Boucher. All very capable. No Pollock, but um, Callus Kemp and Boucher, they're all capable of uh, keeping the momentum going here. 182 needed off 132 balls. The power play is now over, so the field can spread out. And that makes it just a little harder to get boundaries. Oh, good shot. Very good shot. He gave him a bit of room there. Take that. Gibbs has blasted that away to the point boundary. He moves to 136 off 95 balls. What an innings he's playing here. An innings of a lifetime. There we go, it hits the way on the onside. Will it beat the field? Yes, it has. Let's score as well. Martin diving away. Didn't quite get there. Oh boy. When you start to see the fast bowlers jabbering away, then you know things are starting to change. Well, it looked like a Sydney Harbour Bridge there, the way he dived over that. I've got to tell you, Tony. That's where you live. Look at that. Oh, what's going on? Oh, he's hit that one beautifully. One bounce, I think, for four. Superb shot. Over cover. That's, the one, that's exactly what he's got to do. Stay put on leg stump or middle of the leg. If it's out there, pick his gap. Hit it over the head of the infielder. Well, with fine leg up in the circle, the bowler cannot go too straight. So you really, you more or less know he's going to go off stump just outside. That's gone. That's gone him way, way up. A huge six. Well, who would believe what is happening here? The most sixes in a match is 21. And they've now got to 21. And Gibbs has gone to 150. What a stroke. Fetch that. Oh boy, what a shot. Perhaps it wasn't the message. <laughs> That's an unbelievable shot. <laughs> what can you say? No, oh, he's hit that. It's in the air. This is going to be caught. Will it be caught? Yes, he's gone. That's the end of De Villiers. Going for the big one. I think it's the right bloke to be going for them. De Villiers going for the big one at mid-on. And uh, again, nicely taken on the boundary. Never easy when the rope is nearby. No, not at all. He just didn't get hold of it. Went too high. 
and did well, steadied himself and then just had a look to see who's inside the clock, it's good. But uh, Nathan Bracken gets a wicket. So De Villiers goes for 14, 284 for three. And so, um, Callis, a man of immense experience, 231 matches, have a look at all those runs, an average of 44, plenty of centuries. Uh, the good thing about this is that uh, Callis should uh, know exactly what's required. Here's the dismissal again. Said it was a good catch. That's in the air, and there's a fieldsman down there, but it's gone all the way. Well, there's no doubt that uh, what you're saying is the way he's going to play it. I'm still not sure that it's the right way to go, though. Well, you just keep watching. <laughs> and he'll keep middling it, hopefully. That's one heck of a shot. Well, that six makes it the most sixes in any one-day international ever. Right. Simon's to him again. And again. Oh, that's a bigger six. That was a rank full toss. It's a question of help yourself at the moment. Yeah, the buffet ball. This has got out of hand now for Ricky Ponting. You look around the ground, but that shot, well, I reckon a couple of Tainlanders got hit that. In the air, and that's it. Well, I'm afraid to say that section of the party has come to an end. He's hit two sixes. He did what you thought he would do. He did... Uh, I really think that he should have uh, he should have hung in there a little bit. However, that doesn't detract from one of the great innings of all time. He's wandering off this ground, having been caught by Lee off the bowling of Simons for 175. That was a superb performance. Well played, Hershey. As good as innings as anyone has seen here. He goes for 175. And 299 for four now into that famous tunnel. <laughs> 136 to win from 18.1. Well, squeezed away. Yeah, squeezed it away. Sorry, Michael. We're all getting excited in the box. <laughs> we just can't, can't get enough of these boundaries. Every time we look up, the ball's disappearing. And that's not what Ricky Ponting wants to see. Jack Cullis underway. Six balls he's faced. He's got ten runs. Catch. Yeah! Great catch. Brilliant catch. Andrew Simons is an outstanding thought up. Effortless in taking that return catch. The end of Callis. Yeah, very good catch. He was ready for it because he's throwing the ball up. He knows there's every chance the batsman won't uh, be able to get right to the pitch of it. A lot slower. Jacques Callis looking to go over the top. And Andrew Simons has snaffled it. And that uh, brings it back to an even keel. Jack Cullis, the number one batsman in the world. He's gone. 327 for five. The game's on. Big round of applause now for Justin Kemp. He has a reputation, Kemp. This is uh, just about the time he likes to come out and bat and likes to hit the ball straight, high and long. It's in the air and it's going to go to the boundary for four. They needed that desperately. It's been a while. That makes it the most fours in a match now. The records are tumbling all over the place. 80 fours in this match. And uh, the South Africans desperately needed it. The boundaries have dried up. In the air. Yeah! Got him. Big wicket. Kemp has trapped it straight to backward point. A slowish, really cutter comes spinner from uh, the left-handed Bracken. And he's got his man. The real danger at this stage, uh, there'd certainly be some that would say was Kemp. But uh, it's not going to be. This is the wicket again. Yeah, this is good bowling from Bracken. Kemp eyeing out that extra cover region. And in the end, only spooning it. The lack of pace being his undoing. And that was well taken as well by uh, Damien Martin at backward point. 3.55 now for six. So Fanavad is the new batsman. An average of 15. We know he can hit it. 
straight down the ground. That's going for six. That's gone. Yes, that's gone for six. That relieves the pressure a little bit and doubles the pressure on the bowler. Well, I was just going to say, so they've got to win it. You can't accuse them of choking. It's been a brilliant performance from them. They were so superb up front. Now, I'm going to say, another three or four overs from front of up. Oh, he's hit that one magnificently. What a shot. It's gone all the way for six. That is an outstanding shot. 16 off the over. Unbelievable. 374 for six. Desperately trying to get a fingertip on that one at mid-wicket. There it goes. And all the way to the boundary. Straight in the slot for fun of art. Straight down the ground. What a shot. All the way into the crowd. An unbelievable straight six. Well... I think the Aussies thought, just for a little while there, that uh, certainly with Bracken they've got him nailed. But the man in your picture now, Falavad, has come out. And you don't get better straight hits than that one. Brilliant shot. Yeah. Oh, he's got him, he's got him. Perhaps that's not the case. A flat bat from Funavart has gone to Ponting, who's been off the ground getting some attention to his finger, and he's caught a little rocket. It's come at him like a bullet. He's got beautifully into position, taken the catch, and, uh, well, that might alter it. It'll certainly put the skids under the South Africans just a little bit. Yeah, this is a great catch. I can tell you about many fielders. This sort of situation won't want the ball anywhere near them. Not Ricky Ponting. That's a good pressure catch. And that is a fine little innings. You're in front of the crowd appreciate it. 35 of 18. 399 now for seven. The law goes up as Telemachus strides onto the ground. They weren't exactly roaring when he was bowling. This place was as quiet as a mouse. Sweep shot for great shot. Wonderful shot. Well, he's obviously decided whatever that was, he was going to sweep it. That has taken the pressure off. They needed a boundary there. Telemarcus decided to sweep. Probably the first time he's ever played this shot. Have a look at this from outside off stump. It's a beauty. Gacha is playing an unbelievable knock. He's done this so often. 35. Slightly over-pitched and he's whacked it to mid-wicket. 35 he's got or 35 deliveries. Works it away on the onside. It's another four. Bracken's chasing. He won't get there. The noise in the stadium is unbelievable. Every shot has been cheered with a standing ovation. He's hit it, he's hit it like a rocket. What a shot. Boy, is he strong. It's gone for four to extra cover. Lewis has taken a terrible tumbling. They're on their feet, the South Africans. Absolutely everywhere. The flags are flying here at the bull ring. Spare a thought for the bowler. He has disappeared to every corner of the Wanderers. You have to question Ricky Ponting, continuing with him. It's in the air, this has got to be out surely. No, it's going to be short. Oh, it's a great catch. Wonderfully taken. Well, Hussey is an unbelievable fieldsman. He has taken that beautifully, had a come in miles. It's the very thing the South Africans didn't want to see happen was a wicket to go down because now they get into a situation where there's just a possibility they'll get bowled out. Look at Hussey go, inches off the ground, brilliantly taken. Well, 
What a game. Four twenty three for eight. Is Andrew Hall coming out elsewhere? You want to make sure they get in the nets and have their fair share. Well, he wanted a man for a crisis situation or a tough one. Get back Andrew Hall any day. He's done it so many times at provincial level and for South Africa. I think he's just the perfect guy right now for Boucher. It's literally a runner ball somewhere along the line in those 10 deliveries. South Africa should pick up the boundary. Roger Tillamark because maybe it wasn't quite on but he couldn't hold himself back great catch final leg is up so don't stray down the leg side Brickley cover mid wicket backward point it's the only sweepers square and straight and third man you're right final leg is wide open Batcher gets it down to final leg he's got four He's hit it. Oh, it's hit Brett Lee on the shin. Just a single. Boy, that uh, could quite easily have gone rocketing away down the ground. And that's hit him square on the shin, too. He, he hit it so well, I think it went rocket, rocketing into is it his shin or his ankle. He'll take time out here, that's for sure. Well, let's just uh, bear in mind there's a test match uh, series coming up as well. That was on the foot. I've got to say, thankfully, for his sake, anywhere near the ankle, it could have been a lot worse. Well, on the shin, even. We did well. I mean, he actually stuck his foot out uh, to stop that. So, I mean, that really, you've got to give him some credit for that. Yeah, it was a certain boundary. I mean, Boucher hit it powerfully. Midon and Midoff, well, Midoff's particularly wide. Midon's a bit straighter than normal. But you still would have thought that that would have been a boundary. Here we are in the last over. We've got six runs required or five balls we're in uh, we're in a packed stadium in Johannesburg we've got Brett Lee one of the fastest bowlers in the world we've got eight wickets down if they lose a wicket we'll be down to the uh, the ninth and therefore they just need to get another one Gilchrist is uh, trying to help Ponting a little bit uh, just trying to get one or two of them in the right place and now push five leg back down to the boundary for Hall so fine leg and third man are in position. Here he goes. What can Andrew Hall do? Oh, it's a great shot. He's got it away for four. Over the top of Rangon, down to the boundary for four. Now South Africa should definitely win. What a brilliant day's cricket. We keep saying it. We'll have to watch this many, many times over. Man for the pressure situation. Stoll, he's picked his gap. And now Ponting's got no option but to bring those fielders in. He's got to take the gamble. He's got to ask Hall to try and do that again. Surely, the two to win. It's a matter of bat on ball, run hard. And that should be enough. Who would ever have thought that Australia would lose a match defending 434. And Boucher, he's down the wicket. To have a chat to Hall. Let's maybe for a moment consider that idea. Now to use the chokers. <laughs> well, I think it, it's fair enough. They'll be looking for one. I'm sure that's what Boucher said. Block and run. Oh, he's had a go. He's out. Oh, he's out. That's the last thing they wanted. He's out. This match is not over yet. There's a little bit of a twist here. There's no way in the world that they could have crossed in time. So the last batsman in is going to have to face the music here. And so there is still a chance that the Australians could sneak in. Here's the shot. He didn't. I'm sure that wasn't the plan. The plan was surely a single. It had to be. It had to be a question of just getting better onto it. Maybe as it left the hand, Hall thought, well, that's in the slot. Maybe I can get away with it. 4.33 for nine. Well, the big thing, yeah, is that Boucher hasn't got on strike. Number 11, Mackay and Tinney, he's got to face the music. Two from three. 
Right, well, two to get, three balls. One for a tie, so they've got to secure the tie and then win after that. So, they've got to go for a single here. Oh, he's got a single. He's got it to third man. Right, now then. They need one of two balls. South Africa cannot lose. They have tied the match right here. Now it's a question of winning it. The biggest shot in Mackay in Tinny's life. The little nudge down in third man for one. And they deserve that. What a brilliant performance. Okay, Mark Boucher, he deserves this moment of glory. It's been a great knock under pressure. You've got to say, Tony, you've got to back him to pull it off. Yeah, well, he doesn't, he doesn't want to go and do anything silly. I mean, all he needs is a single here. Uh, they don't want to run out. Straight down the ground. What a victory. That is a sensational game of cricket. And it is a superb victory. Well, I've been around the world watching this game. Look at tears. They are crying out there. The South Africans are charging out onto the, onto the ground. Gilchrist shakes hands with Boucher. Ntini's on a high. Ponting cannot believe this has happened to him.